You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, from the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Gossip Girl. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Gossip Girl news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for Gossip Girl. Yo, what up, After Buzzers? <laughs> it's your boy DJ Jesse Janity in the booth. And uh, our normal host, uh, Roxy and Sarah and Jessica, they're not here tonight. They're off traveling. Doing something. Being fabulous, yes, like the Gossip Girls. Exactly. Uh, but we're here, dedicated fans. Uh, we brought Michelle Macedo back for you. I know, yeah. She's been busy working on music. Yeah, I've been fab and yeah. and going around just like the Gossip Girls. Just like that. Very exciting. Yeah, exactly. Um, have a music video coming out soon. Yes, next week, or wait, a week and a half. On December 7th, the music video is finally coming out. And actually, this week is our radio debut on non-commercial radio. Nice. Yes, so call into all your indie stations, KCRW, all that stuff, and request Macedo. Follow us at Macedo Music on Twitter. And uh, keep updated. It's an exciting time. Very much. Mm -hmm. And I saw a sneak peek of the making of your video. Oh, yes. Look at the making of. That's a good point. It is on YouTube. It's on our Facebook slash Macedo Music. Um, yeah, and look it up and see what's to come. Looks very fab. Actually, looks kind of reminded me of the party that was tonight's episode. Oh, really? A little bit. Oh. A little bit. That's cool. A little cool. flashbacks. That's good. Um, so Gossip Girl. Yeah. Kind of a good episode, juicy. A good episode, a good episode, except for Blair's dress. Mm. That was bad news, bad news bears. I don't know what that mm. was about. It's like you went to the Outback Steakhouse, <laughs> the steak was amazing, the asparagus was a little hard. Mm, mm. Yeah, you know. The, yeah, I see what you so mean. So overall the meal was good, juicy. But, but just didn't really that fulfill you. Like, yeah, you had to put it aside. Yeah. So we have Charlie, Ivy. I mean, I don't even know what to call her at this point. Yeah, Charlie, I guess. Yeah, or... we'll, we'll stick with Charlie. Yeah. Um, Max is back in town and wants to know, like, hey, what's what's going on? <laughs> he confronts her in front of Serena's mom. Awkward. Really awkward. And then he's she... like. Uh, pa very passive aggressive. Yeah, definitely. He's very passive aggressive. No one wants that in a man. No, and that's and it's really situations like these where you really get to know who the person is. Very much. And now he's totally gonna manipulate her because he has information. And right. He can blackmail her. Except for she, she ended just keeps up lying. lying. Yeah, she ended up lying to him. Every opportunity that she has, she takes it to lie. Now, I know she's, like, being blackmailed, but he has nothing to do with the situation. Yeah. And it's almost like, do you really like him? Like, were you in California because you liked him? Like, Yeah. So that part's confusing that she can give him up so easily, but then I don't know because her, like, whole thing with Nate, like, does she really like Nate now? Yeah. And, and also, she really likes him, but she... Just like right off the bat, offers him all this money. Yeah, it was almost like hush money. Like, and yeah, so were exactly. you even going to meet him the next day, or was he going to get the yeah. ticket and just have to leave? I probably get the ticket and have to leave. I don't know what she's thinking. She's kind of going a little crazy. She's she's a shady mofo. But then he went through her stuff and found like a play program well, because he uh, Serena's mom showed him the picture and he saw that who uh, her mother was supposed to be. Yeah. Um, 
which I wish Roxy was here so she could uh, inform us a little more because I'm kind of confused with that storyline. Sorry, Yeah, guys. me too. But, I, I mean, like, how would you feel if you were in that situation? Like, if you were him? Oh, I would totally... Well, I would be, like, out of there. No, I, I mean, by now... Like, would you have been that manipulative? Like... If I were him, I, no. I think I would have just left. Yeah. I think it's too complicated. <laughs> I don't think I would have like gone after the, um, them to New York. I mean, yeah, I don't think it's just like leave it alone. I'd just well, be like, I understand the, the New York thing because you're, you're with your girlfriend. You guys are living together. Yeah, that's you're like crazy. In, love in California. Apparently. And then all of a sudden she's just missing. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. And then sends crazy. you a text that says, <laughs> hey, I'm okay. Yeah, what, like what does that mean? And then and then he shows up and no one knows her real name. Like that's really sketchy. Yeah. At that's that point it's like weird. okay, involving myself in something I don't need to be. Yeah, exactly. That'd be a little too much. Moving on up. Yeah, not no. No one's really worth that. And the fact that he's manipulating her now and and using the money is just like uh yeah. like that just dragging it out even mm. more. I don't know if I like this storyline. Yeah, I don't know if I like it either. Because I don't want anyone to find out because I want her to, but but then I do want people to find out. I don't know. I want her to, st I want them all to find out, but I want, and I feel like this is going to be Gossip Girl's way of getting back to the top with this story. Mm. Uh, I feel like she's going to find out that, well, I guess that's predictions. But mm. I don't want Serena to fall in love with Max. Oh my God, if that happens... Vomit. I'm gonna jump off a building. Blair's dress. Cause Vomit. he's so yeah, he's so lame. I think we should put Max in Blair's dress and just put Ship him on a plane it. back yeah, to Blair, Seattle, Portland. Where is he Wherever. going? I don't even. Somewhere care. he wants to go, with a restaurant. Like yeah, okay. Portland. I don't know if that's Maine, Oregon. Like, oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Could be all over the place. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, no. I want him. Max needs to be out of the picture. Yeah. He's not. He's not classy. He's not fab like the rest of them. Do you think he's uh, manipulating Serena just for Ivy to like stay maybe, around longer? Or do you think maybe he to might, get back at her. Yeah, or he might really have feelings for her. I think but maybe I, he's doing it to get back at her. It, that's what just too think? much to even think about. I because know. it's like, I feel like Serena, if she, when she finds out like... that they had something at first she's gonna be like oh well i can't do that to her that's my cousin yeah and she's gonna be mad at her and she's not gonna forgive her and it's just gonna be this like never About end, serena. Like, weird cycle yeah and i feel like serena is gonna get kind of nasty now that she has yeah. this blog uh, yeah, I know. What about this blog? Yeah, no, she is going to get nasty because now everyone sees all the stuff she sent in to Gossip Girl. Right. Now that Louis has posted it mm -hmm. after Nate is a good guy and talks Diana out of posting it. So. Right. So let's talk about uh, Gossip Girl, Nate, and that whole situation. Uh, Nate compiled a list of all of the sources to Gossip Girl. Wh Hacked into the email. Like, how did you feel when she, Serena, was like th thousands of emails? Like, yeah, I to know. To me, it's like you've hated Gossip Girl for how long, but then you're sending stuff in. Yeah, they all, yeah, are sending stuff in. But also, if he had access to do this from get go, yeah, whatever, then why haven't they been controlling what goes out? Exactly. They could really, really have used that. So many times before. Well, that and then the other question I have is. Did he say him and someone else were the monitors of Gossip Girl? He said. What's Serena's brother's name? Eric, right? Was he? No, he said someone named Jonathan. Yeah. Hacked it for him. I don't know, actually. I wish Roxy was here to clarify that because I don't remember like that ever happening. Right. Neither do I. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So then we have Diana who sees the source thing and she's like, oh my God, this will boost my, you know, this will get me my job back because yeah. right now the spectator has this negative report uh, 
negative cloud floating over it, uh, and Nate's dad wants to give Nate the spectator and kick her. Yeah, and apparently she has like some big secret. Yeah, that we're I, not supposed to know, and she lies and takes the blame for uploading that list or whatever. Um, and yeah, Nate's grandfather wants Nate to take over the business. But she actually ends up like having feelings for Nate. Yeah, I like that though because yeah. we've thought she was so evil. I thought this she whole was just time. like so evil. But, so, but yeah. to see that side of her and to see her like, and of course, like in the moment, we still thought she was bad. But after the fact, like when we see it was Louis that did it, it made me like really like kind of respect her character because it was like I have no I've hated her this whole time. Yeah, me too. But. Seeing that softer side was almost like, oh. Yeah, that's true. That would make Nate happy. I just want yeah. Nate happy. Yeah. You know? What did you think about their, her <laughs> obviously made-up lie when Nate walked in on, on uh, her talking to his grandfather? She was like, well, I called him and asked him to invest, and we haven't talked before this. And nothing's happening. Yeah, ridiculous. And the grandfather, not I keep saying Nate's father. Um, uh, yeah, Diana's just a bad liar. And I'm surprised she kept whatever secret it is. I know. <laughs> quiet for so long. Well, Nate is pretty naive. I mean, like... He's, like, pretty dumb, what so... Was the, uh, <laughs> what was the comment I made... About Nate, the way he Nate said something tonight, it, it was just uh, like a everything. little dumb boy. Like, yeah, yeah, I want it. Like, okay, oh, <laughs> yeah, all right. That's exactly. He believes how it everything. Is. Yeah, he believes everything. Um. So yeah, I don't know what Nate's grandfather and Diana have going on, but very juicy. Very excited to hopefully we get a whole episode of that next week. Yeah, uh, I feel like next week's. Uh, although I feel like they'll hot they'll hold that storyline. They, like, tucked it under, and they'll be like, we'll bring it back at the end. Yeah. Hopefully next week we get more of uh, Charlie slash Ivy. I guess we'll call her Chivy. Chivy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Storyline. Yeah, definitely. Um, but let's get to the juice of it, because really this is what the whole episode was about. Uh, Blair's having a bridal shower? Yeah, I think it's a bridal shower. Now, last time I checked, bridal shower... Like, only girls go to it? That's, yeah. Normally how it is. Normally right? that's how it is. But I mean, they could do whatever they want, whatever and they want. Serena is in charge of it. I liked the whole, like, everyone, like, keeping it a secret and making it sound like it was going to be this trashy, yeah, like, Yeah, casual barbecue, jeans are okay. Greek food and uh, Hawaiian <laughs> yeah, scraped food. ice. <laughs> oh, yeah, shaved ice. That's so funny. <laughs> All the flavors. Tutti fruit. Yeah, exactly. That was really funny. It was. It was. And I'm I'm glad that it, they kind of like threw it in for everybody because usually it's like the same characters adding the co uh, co the comedy punches. Yeah, in totally. There. Yeah. Um, so we find out that it's actually this like Tiffany's party. Really nice. Go go Serena. Yeah, go Serena. I like the idea of everyone one. gets a Tiffany's box, but one has a diamond ring. In yes, it. of course. Chivy gets the diamond ring. Mm -hmm. Of course. If God has fate. I know. <laughs> and it's in Chivy's hand. <laughs> and um, then she gives a ring to Max for leverage, which is an right, awful which, waste. Which, before we get into the rest of that, when she gives it to him, to Max, and then we see him say, you know, $500,000. And you know what? Now I'm thinking about I don't blame him. Because you were going to, you lied to me about who you are. Then you yeah. lied to me again when I came all the way over here to yeah. confront you. And now you're lying to me again. Yeah. Saying that you're going to give me $50,000. Mm. And you gave me this ring, which you got tonight. Yeah, that's true. So you think that he doesn't believe that she's going gonna... to... I don't think he believes one word she's saying. Mm. Him, which I don't blame. Yeah, that's true. That would be really messed up. Which is why I don't even know why he would, like, expect Stick that... And and I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of like hush money. I don't know. Yeah. I wouldn't feel like good about taking that. But I mean, it is fifty thousand dollars. Right. And in the end, the only way she's getting that money is by technically he's going to be screwing over Serena's family. Yeah, exactly. Who he totally cares about, except for not. 
Although I'm kind of feeling like he's doing this whole thing with Serena, so he has leverage. So Charlie can't lie anymore. So he's she can building keep lying and be like, no, he's crazy. Like, he did all this. He's saying all this stuff. I think he's he's making that relationship to get back at her. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-mm. Uh, speaking about getting back, uh, Dan and Chuck were very, had a little bromance going oh, on. Oh, yeah. Today. Such a bromance. They were. Huck tried to get him laid. I know. So awkward. Like, two girls walk in. They're like, hey, what's up? But Dan was loving the room service, mm-hmm. loving the drinks. Um, I was feeling Dan and Blair last season. I think you, you, yeah. were, here, you were here last yeah. season for that. I was really feeling them. Yeah. I felt like Gossip Girl could have taken that so much. I know. Uh, I think it may, may still go somewhere. I don't. Really? I think. Maybe not. He's totally turned me off yeah. this season. The whole book thing, like now, he's always been dorky, but like the, now this whole season, he's just an an unlikable nerd. Mm. And I love a goofball. I love somebody who is out of the box. Mm. But I'm not liking his character right now. Mm. It's like he doesn't know if he should be cocky. He doesn't know if he should be, you know, a good person. Like... Yeah, that's true. If you're upset about not being invited to the party, write an email. You're a writer. Call her. There's a thought. Ask her for some coffee. Yeah, Go call on. her. Yeah, exactly. Be like, are you are you mad at me? What's going on? Don't make the decision to bust the party I know. while you're drunk. Yeah. Didn't like that. That was stupid. <laughs> Thought it was dumb. Of, you know, I felt like the writers did it just so that they could have an excuse for Chuck to somehow save the day. Yeah, exactly. And, and Chuck to interfere. Yeah, have a reason. And she was like, oh, another excuse. But I, that is totally another excuse yeah. still, and no matter what. Even though they're like, yeah, he was trying to save you. Still, I think that Chuck just wanted to see Blair. <sighs> mm. Do I think he was mad, really upset at the fact that Dan went there? No, because he could go see her. Yeah. But I, I think at that point, he was over it. He looked at the uh, paper, you know, he saw it, and he was disappointed. We saw the look of disappointment. But then he kind of just like was like, you know what? That's what she's doing. Whatever. Uh, so I don't know about that. Um, little Mr. Louie. Has lost my appeal. Oh, I know. Me too. Like, uh, I don't like him at all. You're trying to split up. I feel like he's mad at the fact that his family was trying to break them up. Yeah. And he wanted to, like, throw it on her friends. Yeah. Blame them. Because his family was evil. They were awful. Very manipulative. They hated everything about her. Mm Mm-hmm. And so I feel like, you know, he... His reaction was to say you know what like i did this for my family now you have to do something yeah for me. that's true and it's like i get the feeling of that but look at the reality of yeah it. and also like it's not gonna help to hurt her by telling her her friends don't care about her right and like chuck i understand that yes and she's put a distance between her and chuck she's put a distance between her and dan yeah, uh, that's true. Now you're coming after Serene and Nate. It's like you're just trying to get her in this pigeonhole where she's all by herself and you can have her by yourself. Exactly. That's what it is. But uh, what I was wondering was that Dan said to her, I didn't write one bad thing about you. Yeah. But then Louis was really upset by the book. Well, he was really upset because... Because he liked her or yeah. it was about her. It was about in his a good love way. For her. That is so crazy. Yeah, well... Louis has so many jealousy issues. Yeah, he does. For being a prince, I mean, he must get so much attention and, like, press and all this stuff. It's like people are going to be that way all the time and and throw accusations and stuff. And it's like, you have her. I know. She's yours. Exactly. You don't have to, like, do this whole competition thing. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and even with the text that said about... Ooh, B's getting and got a pregnancy test to see who the third father could be. 
you went really hard with it, wanting it to, wanting it. You wanted it to be one of her friends, so you were right. Yeah. And to me, that's just, it's just gross. I know, just... that is gross. That's true. Yeah, his insecurity and jealousy is too much. Yeah. So um, what do you think about Blair? I mean, like, kind of taking a break. Well, I liked her little speech at the end because I agree with her. I do think... You know, for her to realize, like, it's not our friends, it's not your family, it's us. Yeah. We're causing it, you know. But he, then he was like, it's you, which <laughs> I didn't like. I was like, really? You're going to do that? Like, right. make it her fault. Right. Because you're the one that put it online. Exactly. <laughs> like, and you're the that. one reaching out, tr snooping and trying to find and manipulate. You're being just like your family. Yeah, exactly. Actually. That's true. And, you know, exactly. You know, I actually really liked, I mean, I love Blair anyways, but the thing is, I feel like she's really growing up, uh, you know, when the little three evil stepsisters, oh, yeah. her funny. minions were like, you know, why would you say all this bad stuff about us? She was like, oh, please. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, you don't run and tell the first person at a coffee shop. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's you know, so I think true. Blair put everyone in her place today. Uh, especially louis and i don't know i think louis doesn't have a leg to stand on here in this case and i'm over him i want that storyline to be brushed away i'm over him too i think he's gonna pull a max and be very do something crazy really yeah yep she she pushed him away completely yeah and then on top of it now he's got to be paranoid that she's gonna find out He's the one that posted uh, the Gossip Girl sources. Oh, yeah. That's just, that might just do it. That just might tear them apart. Because that's exactly what he's blaming all of her friends for. And he's, and he's doing the one that it, just did it. proving it even more that she can't trust anyone around her. Mm -hmm. And it's like bad on so many levels. Like you went on Serena. I know. Like, I know. Computer. That's so weird. I know. And. I wish I like picked up on it earlier when he like walked in the room while she was on the phone and she like put the computer down quick. Yeah, and he's I like, knew "Oh, that. is everything okay? Like, why would you think something wasn't?" Yeah, okay? exactly. Like she just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> she was having a phone. I totally thought that. I totally thought that was sketchy. Yeah, but I, I never, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't think he'd do together. that. Like Jesus. So, I don't know. I think it's gonna be very interesting with this pregnancy test. I thought it was funny, you know, just before we wrap up, I thought it was funny how you brought up the fact that Serena's mom is so gullible. Yeah, like, she just, is so gullible. She doesn't even need to hear the full lie. She's like halfway through, like, oh my, you know, I'll That's finish the lie for you. That's classic Carol. I know, <laughs> like, I'm going to finish lying. I'm going to fill in the blanks right now. Like, you don't even have to do it. Yeah, no, you don't have to call. Don't worry. She just it's wants okay, it to be, it's just like ridiculous. Especially this girl. I mean, Char Chivy, you know, Chivy. could be anybody, is a stranger. Clear, like. It's like, and all this random sketchy stuff is happening, and she's totally just like, okay, I'm going to blame it on, on, you know, her sister or whatever. Her, her mother, Chivy's mother, Charlie's mother. Now, I didn't uh, get to watch last week's episode, but I got to say, <laughs> this was Chivy's best look. So yeah, so she did look season, good. She did. Look I good. usually hate what she wears. Yeah, but I like that white top. She looked really classy. I, I oh, that. I liked it too. I yeah. No, okay, now I remember. That was cool. We always talk about the style. I feel like her styles were really not that great on this show. Yeah, I liked it. But this tonight did it up. Yeah, that's and true. Maybe she traded with Blair because Blair's outfits were horrible. Both of them. Awful. What was the other one? I can't even remember. Oh, yeah, saying. at the store. She wore some weird oh, overcoat thing. And this is what we were saying. I feel like every, every time we see her now, whenever it's like a royal something or she's around Prince or something, she wears like these like ruffled, like old, yeah. like Queen Elizabeth like wears yeah, now. Yeah, weird. Like jackets. Yeah. I don't like them. Change it. Change it. Bring the bring the Blair's fashion. Like yeah, I've seen her with some classy. nice stuff lately. I mean, she always wears something nice, but lately, uh, kind of been slacking. No, I time. mean, this episode was really bad. I, pinata. I did like um, Serena's outfit for the party. Thought it was oh, cool. yeah, that was cool. That was cool. It was funky. Yeah. 
She had her little her hair up and like a messy little ponytail. Yeah, thing. very like Cindy Lauper. Yes, exactly. I mean, uh, so that's pretty much the episode. Any last thoughts before we head to a commercial break? No. All right, so we're gonna gander with some uh, nice, relaxing <laughs> music during this next commercial break, and we'll be back. surfing the net and like you after i'd see one of my favorite tv shows i'd be so excited and have so many questions that i'd actually have to talk to my douchebag co-workers about it at the water cooler then i discovered afterbuzztv.com afterbuzz tv produces after show webcasts and podcasts for tv series of all kinds like post-game wrap-up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzz TV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after shows, from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. Thank you, AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? All right, and we are back. What do we want to buzz about XOXO? Mm, XOXO. Okay, uh, predictions? Before we go into predictions, one mm -hmm. thing... I really liked. I love Gossip Girl. I, I know. love. Uh, oh, why can't I think of her name right now? Oh, who does the voiceover of it? I love. Oh, her. oh, oh! You mean Kristen Bell? Yes. Yes. Love her. She's so good at it. She's awesome. I don't man. know how she does that. I feel like I would love to do an interview with her because I feel like she could just whip them those sayings right yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. She's done so many of them, but she doesn't even sound like that in real life or talk like no. that. Obviously, but I don't know how she does that. I love very talented girl. Yeah. Um, but before we get into predictions, I liked the ending of Gossip Girl. I thought I love how she just comes and talks to you and. Yeah. Very. I don't know. So I guess this will lead us into predictions. After Buzz TV. Well, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> but he will. And now you're after Buzz. So taking us into predictions, I actually want to ask you a general question that we've kind of spoken about here. Do you think we're going to find out who Gossip Girl is by the end of, not this season, but when the hmm. show when the show wraps up? Sarah says no. Roxy thinks maybe. I feel like we need to. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. I think they're going to show something. I think something's going to be revealed. Yeah. Yeah, I think they they can't just leave us with nothing. Do you think we know who it is? Do you think we've we know the person? No. No. I mean, if My we do, was, it's not what like if it a was Serena. And interesting. They said to me, um, you know, that the, it's blasted so much stuff about Serena that it couldn't be. But. You want to be popular, you know, like, yeah, uh, you want to be famous. A lot of these people put negative press out about themselves just to have press. Yeah. So I think that would be interesting. I want to, if we're going to know who Gossip Girl is, I want to like know who the, I want to yeah. know that person. See, I don't they want to could like go that route. A random thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because whoever that person is would have to be really close. What if it's Dorota? It's totally not, but. That. Actually, that would be freaking amazing. What if it is? That's crazy. She can't speak that well. <laughs> I know, exactly. She can't. I don't think she... <laughs> that would actually be amazing. Though. And that would make a lot of sense. <coughs> what if it was like... What if it's someone's like cleaning lady or or oh, the the person at the hotel, lady. you know? Yeah. Like, Never know. But um, what do we think her backfire plan is going to be? Um, Who? Mr... Gossip Girl, because she said, oh. whatever my next step is. Oh, yeah. Uh, she said, I couldn't be aggressive. I could just, you know, let 
I think she's going to go happening. like really hardcore. It's it's the holidays. So now that it's coming up to the holidays, she I think she's going to especially ruin people's lives. Yeah. She's yeah. I, I feel like it. her goal now is to find out. Well, another interesting thing is I wonder who's going to try and figure out who released the sources, whether it be mm. Gossip Girl or Diana. I wonder if Diana is mm. going to take that into her own hand, or do you think that we're done with Diana's? Do we think that she? I th- we might be done with Diana. Yeah. Yeah. Because once Nate finds out that it wasn't Diana that uploaded it, then it's almost like, well, the thing she is, really cared about me. Yeah. How would anyone find out it was him? Prince Louis? Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, they would have to like ask around. They're going to yeah. know it wasn't Serena. They're going to know it wasn't Nate. So that only leaves Diana and Louis. Mm. So. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. She did say that he thought. But I don't know. They could keep the storyline going a little bit longer yeah. with everyone thinking it's Diana, but I, th- I don't think it's the last we've seen of her. I, I think there's going to be... Because we're definitely going to find out... They're definitely going to find out about Louis. That has to come out. Yeah, they have, that has to come out. Uh, you know what? You know, Diana's probably going to come back and, this, and like ask for a job from Nate, maybe. Really? To like try and be around him now that she's in love with him. Interesting. Yeah. Um, now, next week, we see Blair goes and visits Chuck. Or that was the end of this episode. Um. Oh, yeah. Wait, was that the end of this episode? It was. Yeah, it was the end of this We're episode. We're delirious yeah. people. It's yeah, it's late. Late over here. Um, oh, okay. So, what do you think's happening with them? Do we... You know, they're always, like, off and on. She'll probably be on a break with Louis and then, like, do something with Chuck. Right, because it seemed like next week she is asking Chuck for advice for Louis. Yeah. Like, how to make him a better man. I know, and, uh, yeah. I think that's going to get even more complicated than it So here's is. what I think is going to happen. I believe that they're going to keep the pr- royal wedding thing going on, and mm-hmm. they're going to try and work on it couple more episodes then something's gonna happen with diana yeah or gossip girl and it's gonna get out that louis the one that i think the, i think the saying shit hit the fan is going to happen yeah totally think, exactly yeah. uh we're gonna find out the truth about blair's baby i think we're mm. gonna find out the truth about louis i think we're gonna find out the truth about charlie all at the same time. Yeah, that's going to be a mess. Just a hot mess. Yeah. And I feel like it's going to be like at the Christmas party. You're right. Yeah, yeah like a holiday. It's like, like a holiday mess. <laughs> Tis the season. Exactly. XOXO. <laughs> <laughs> um, exactly. Yeah. Definitely think that that's where we're going with this. Yeah. Um, Serena and Max, what are you thinking? Oh, I really hope not. She's so open. Like, she's so easy. <laughs> yeah, it's just so easy. Come on, girl. Put up your standards. Calm Come down. On. Calm down. Calm down. We know. Okay. Um. And then, do we think anything with Nate and Charlie or any? Type oh, of- I don't know. I didn't even. Did we see them interact this episode? No. I mean, they could probably hit it off if they. But she needs to get rid of Max. They kind of hit it off, and then they pulled back. Yeah, she needs to get rid of Max. She needs to get rid of Max, and she needs to like come out with all of her lies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Over it. But. That was pretty much the episode. It's pretty much what we think is going to happen. You guys have any questions, comments, hit us up on Facebook, AfterBuzz TV, info at AfterBuzzTV.com. Send us an email. Tweet us. Where can we tweet you, Michelle? At Macedo Music. You could tweet me at Macedo Music. Look it up. Um, stick around for the making of video. Look it up on MacedoMusic.com or Facebook or Facebook slash Macedo Music. And watch the making of video, uh, you know, go around uh, December 7th. It will be released. So I look forward to that. Very exciting. Now is After Buzz going to get to uh, have a little premiere of their own here? Yes, they Very are. Exciting. Yes. What show can we expect that? 
Or do we know yet? Um, we don't know yet. We don't know the details. Yeah. Alrighty. You guys can shoot me a tweet over at DJ Jesse J. Um, follow me. Got some uh, stuff coming up. Very exciting. So until next week, guys. We miss Roxy. We miss Sarah. Yes. We miss you, Jessica. We'll see you guys next week. Have a happy Thanksgiving, guys. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, buzz you later. later. XOXO. Gossip Girl. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.